the death of Jackie Crockett. So PW Insider yes. wrote this. Uh, they are saddened to report that Charles Jackson Crockett, known to the wrestling world as Jackie Crockett, passed away uh, yesterday as we record this at 7.22 p.m. after a month of being hospitalised. Uh, Crockett was the lead cameraman for Jim Crockett Promotions and worked for WCW for many years after Turner Broadcasting acquired the company all the way through to the final WCW Nitro. So, uh, Jackie Crockett. He was like the... Jackie was like the black sheep of the Crockett family. You know, you had Jim Crockett Jr. and then David. They were like the executives of the company. Jackie, he didn't give a crap. You know, you look at him and and you think automatically, well, there's his brother in a suit and a tie, and there's his other brother in a suit and tie, and here comes walking Jackie with a T-shirt <clears throat> and a cap turned backwards, and he was the cameraman. He didn't give a crap. See, Jackie to the, the wrestlers, to the boys, we call them, <clears throat> he was one of us. And he would bust. He was very, very good at what he did, though. But, and I used to talk to him all the time. He was very approachable. You could talk to him, and he would tell you, like, hey, I can get a good shot of you if you do this and wait a second. So we have an, an edit point going in, edit point coming out. So he, and he he was he was good like that. What did he die of? Uh, it doesn't say yet. Uh, to finish off the rest, I believe he was sick for a good month. David Crockett said it's been a long journey for Jackie and he went out his way. Tonight, Jackie's breathing was very laboured and when we thought he was gone, he would come back like a wrestling false finish. But yeah, he was hospitalised for a good month, so... I always find it weird that whenever someone dies in wrestling, someone always has to put a wrestling terminology to it. Like, oh, you kicked out at two point nine. Uh, that's just part of the. That's just part of the job application. You have to do that. So, but, and if you read up on the Crockett family, the old man Jim Senior. He started out promoting something else first, and then finally. Got into wrestling. He did boxing, I think, for quite a lot, of, quite a lot of years. Did senior, and he is a. You know, some people are made to just invent stuff or do stuff or work for somebody else. The Crockett's, the Jim Crockett Senior, kind of blazed his own trail, and like you said, he started out. I think you're right, promoting boxing. But see, boxing, you can only do that. See, it, it, if you're a wrestling, if you're a boxing promoter, you're you're at the mercy of the boxers, how good they are. But, see, in wrestling, you can make somebody good. You can tell a story week in and week out that the people can follow. And see, those boxers, they can't fight every week. They get beat up too bad. So um, I would say once a month for a boxer is the most that he could do. And he could only do that for maybe six or seven months. Mm -hmm. And by that time, hell with it. You know, if you have that amount of fights and getting hit in the head and in, in the body. Yeah, I never considered boxing as a livelihood. I considered boxing as something to kind of stay away from. Mm. But anyway, my uh, condolences to uh, to Jim Jr. and David over the loss of the brother, Jackie. Well, uh, Jim and, died a couple of years ago. Uh, senior did? I mean, uh, No, Junior did, yeah. Jim Crockett Jr. died last year or the year before. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that either. Mm. So just David is... He's the only one left? Yeah, David's the only one left. Uh, just because we're talking about Jackie, was Jackie always the one who jumped up on the ring apron to capture the shot? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure he volunteered for that. <laughs> but what did Jim Jr. die? Oh, you're going to make me look it up now, are you? Well, you're the research. Hey, we're doing this for our devoted 115,000 subscribers. 
uh, death February soon to 20- be 116. Oh, uh, death February 28th, 2021. So this is before we start the podcast, actually. So uh, I guess we wouldn't have ta- talked about it. He died of complications of liver and kidney failure. And David later attributed his death to COVID-19, which f- finished him off, basically. He was 76. So, uh, yeah, just de- just David left now. Well, I'm down. See, I learned. See, I even learned something by paying attention doing our our show. You tell me all this stuff. <laughs> but anyway. Condolences to David then over the loss of uh, both brothers. 